Hey guys, we're back here with a brand new character, and we have a new Yu-Gi-Oh! So I want to talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not available yet, but it's coming fucking soon. What the hell is this? So the ne up next one is non-elemental. Interesting. One time only. Four star character guaranteed. 250. So I'm going to review this, this scout first then. And, you know, let me just go here. Let's see who you have. So, the best characters you can get is Shaita and Izcon, Rinley, and then the new Integrity Knight, which I don't have. Administrator. Ah, oh, that's. All right, so I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't think the scout is good. I think it's bad, but whatever. Because even though there's characters I want in there, it's not a selectable character. Forget it, right? So you have Yu-Gi-Oh here, the second anniversary part three, Integrity Knight. I believe it's a limited edition character. Yeah, it is limited edition. Instead of putting it here like they used to, now they. They put it here to kind of confuse you. Alright. So it is another break. AA character. BAA character. And here's our UGO Integrity Knight. Really cool looking. Uh, kind of reminds me of Edis. I mean the thing I'm looking at is. Look at look at the thing in the armpit. I mean what the hell. So it reminds me of. Of. Uh, Edis. But you don't have that many. Integrity Knight yu gi -Oh's, right? So, definitely a character you want to get. But, you know, you're not guaranteed it. Right? That's the problem. So, Incarnate, plus 3 to Recollection Field, increases Light Elemental Character attacks by 10%. Imagerarium, 3% increase in attack for a limited, unlimited amount of turns. Increases Critical Damage by 15%. Blah blah blah. So here is the attack. Break. Strong attack on single enemy lowers enemies in increment charge by 20% for two turn recollection field plus one increment break 50%. Only 50%. Now the assault, the second assault really always pretty much sucks unless you're doing it with active link, which you know, it's pretty annoying because it's not always you're going to use active link with this character. Now, slash attack for the third A assault attack. Extra strong on single enemy increases attack and critical damage of all allies by 10% for two turns, max 30%. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so let me talk a bit about the character. Now, without a doubt, the character will probably be stronger right but he looks like he's gonna be slow i mean 315 doesn't look too high but the hp so most of the new characters attack and hp are gonna be higher than the old units but it's not gonna be like drastically higher it's gonna be like you know 100 points or something give or take i don't know the exact number if you want to take a look at the uh older stuff you could do that but in a nutshell, and in calculation of the rates, I believe this, this scout is going to be bullshit, right? I mean, the character is good, right? I mean, he's good to a certain degree, actually, because his incarnate does plus three to recollection field, which is nice. But the thing is, anybody with a brain isn't going to replace Yuki, which is the main light elemental character that has plus three to recollection field right anybody with a brain is not going to replace yuki right her her right nobody's gonna replace her with yujiro because who the fuck is going to yell charge for you i like you know i mean that only makes sense right so going on in here most character will probably have kirito already either this one or this one so you already have one break character and one brick stack character. That is it, you know, right? So those characters, and most of the people, the long time players, will probably have this Kirito on 
120. If not, they probably have Alice. Now, I don't have Alice on this account, right? So, I already, there's a lot, there has been a lot of break characters already, right? I mean, I didn't get the previous charge character, Sortlina and, what's her name? Uh, Sidon, right? They were both rigged, right? Bikini characters. So, I didn't get them. But these break characters are very easily obtainable. Which means that having Yu-Gi-Oh! If you already have a level 120 Kirito, and then a level 120, uh, this new one, then you're gonna be like, shit! I just wasted, unless you didn't get them both, and then now you want to get Yu-Gi-Oh, then obviously Yu-Gi-Oh is the good character, right? But if you already have 120 characters on the break, you're going to be wondering why the hell do you need uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Because you're not going to replace a level 120 character with Yu-Gi-Oh. That makes zero sense. Um... There should be a charge character. He should have been a charge character, but what can you do? I mean, they're trying to sell you the picture. But let me just go on in here. But he is a collectible character. That's the thing. Obviously, his uh, his uh, outfit is rare. And having him will be unique to your game. But like I was saying, right? His stats, his stats are good, everything's good, it's just that, should you replace him, or replace your other break character, which you already, you already have, right? Most people already have Kirito or Alice. I don't have the Alice, but most people, like, because the, the game's been on for so long, this was, like, last anniversary, so most people would have already had this, this Kirito um, at level 120, and... The question is, do you want to replace your level 120 with a level 100? Unless you plan to buy more moon crystals. Even if you buy more moon crystals, you won't have enough to take them to level 120. So the character really becomes not important. He is there. He has good stats or better stats than the previous characters. And he could break, stack, and everything. But... He can't get to level 120 unless you spend money to get him to level 120. And I think that's kind of stupid, right? I mean, if you're already, like, this Alice. Most people already have this Alice and probably taken her to level 122. Because he, she's in enhanced mode. She did a lot of damage. And she still does a lot of damage. She breaks. I think she has a higher break too, right? I mean, I think Kirito has a higher break. Let me just see. So in enhanced mode... What the hell? So she does 60% in enhanced mode. So much higher than this current one. But this current one has stack. So there's that difference. Let me go down a bit. And this one. This one's break is pretty much 50%. So you could replace it with this one. Right? But this one has a short wait time skill. Which is beneficial. But like I was saying. When this was released. He was the coolest character, which means most people already taken him to level 120. So, will you want to replace him is really the question, right? I mean, the question is it if he, um, if Yu-Gi-Oh is better or not. The question is, do you really want to replace your level 120 Kirito with the new Yu-Gi-Oh, right? That is really the question. So now going to the scout. I know for sure it's going to be bullshit. The first step is going to be bullshit. The second step is going to be bullshit. The third step is going to be bullshit. Now the fourth step is probably going to be bullshit too. And you know, the fifth step is probably the, the closest one to being normal, right? And then once you get to the seventh step, that's you're guaranteed the new character. Now some people might say, oh, this is easy. This is not easy. I mean, how much like, I'm just gonna, I don't even know the exact number or price for the Step 7 Scout because everybody probably already spent all their thing to Step 7, right? So the first one's level uh, 120, the second one is 120 diamond cubes, so that's 250, and then the third one's 250, right? 
Fourth one is 250. Fuck, man, I hit the calculator wrong. All right, so that's 250. And then what, is it, what are we at? The first one's 250, second one's 250. I mean, one, two is 120, right? I'm going to start all over again. Fuck this, man. Stupid calculator. All right, so first one and two, that's 150 in total. And then the third one, you got 250. My bad. The first two is 250. And then you have 250 here. The fourth one is 250. Fifth one is 250. Sixth one is 250. And then you got the last one. The seventh one is 250. And the total is 1,500 diamonds. And I don't know how many people still have 1,500 diamonds. Because after doing these days, which are completely rigged as well... Uh, you know, you know, some of my accounts have gone to step seven. And I still didn't get both of the characters, but at least this one with Yu-Gi-Oh, you're, you're guaranteed Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it's worth it in terms of diving cubes, but ha being in limited edition uniform or outfit in the game, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously you should get them because this, this, this thing Right, he, what he's wearing is super rare, right? You're going to be able to get the rarest outfit in the game. And I don't think it's going to come out. Uh, most limited edition characters never really came back yet. So, I don't know. In terms of skill, like I'll say, the question is, do you want to replace your 120 Kirito or Alice with yu gi -Oh? Because you probably already have... Level 120 break characters. There is no way, absolutely no way, people are just keeping the moon crystals, hanging on to them, and not, like, ranking up the highest and best characters for the light element or any other element. So, that's really the question for me. As you can see here, the first thing I broke was uh, limit break was Kirito. And most people, that's, you know, most people did that. That's the normal thing, right? Unless you just started the game. Then, of course, you just say, forget it. So, really, the question is, do you want to replace your break character with that break character, with Yu-Gi-Oh? Right? Because you're not going to replace Yuki. There's no freaking way you're going to replace, replace Yuki with Yu-Gi-Oh because he could do plus three to recollection field. Because who's going to yell break for you? So, there you go. That's my review of the character. I think it's a mediocre character. Um, it has its good, it has its bad, but the thing is, and the really, but the, the biggest thing is, do you want to replace your break character and spend 1,500 crystals for it? And, you know, that question you have to answer yourself. I mean, it's not like a must, must get character. In terms of outfit, right, we're going to split this in half. It's based on the skills, and then now I'm going to talk about the design, right? I mean, and the character himself. So, based on the design and the character, damn, yeah. I mean, he's a super limited edition character. You'll never probably get another character like that. Definitely get, right? But if based on skill, eh, you know, you got to really think about it. Do you really want to replace it? Or, you know, because you're not going to replace it. You're not going to replace a charge character because who, who's going to charge for you, right? This game requires two charge character, two break character, one yell charge character, and then you have a... You know, you 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 can have a yell break or this X character. So, anyways, you have to, you have to add the question, ask your question. I mean, ask the question yourself. Also, I guess one of the greatest things about Yu Gi Oh is he has the two X increment, which is another bullshit move because now they're forcing you to move on to two X. What are you gonna do if you're you're 120, right? I mean. They won't even let you downgrade because I want to downgrade my level 120 and bring in these 2x. But, you know, if I can't, I don't know. I mean, most people, like I'll say, you want to keep your level 120, but you also want your 2x. I mean, she's she can do x. So, you know, if anything, I could probably replace it with her, right? Then it's better. 
But if you don't have room, if you, you know, then obviously you have to think about it. Because she, uh, Ronnie is part of my break line. That she's the yell break. But anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. I know it's been a long video. And, you know, make your decision. For me, I'm just saying, ah, uh, you know, I don't really need him. And it's not, that's not the, really the point, too. The point is, I know the scout's not going to give me him. And I don't have 1,500 diamonds. I have 56 diamonds. You know, going to step one to step three, maybe I'll try. But I'm not going to put any money into this particular account. On my main account, maybe I'll go to step three. But uh, the rates will be bullshit. And you and I 